there. Want to be ready? Want to be ready? Want to be ready? Want to be The first to the bottom wins the cheese, but what sensible young man risks life and limb for the sake of a cheese? Nonetheless, it's physical danger that brings them back each year. 17, In this sense, cheese rolling is a kind of initiation rite. But before that, it was probably a ceremony of record or boundary walking necessary for the people to retain an access to this common land. At Oxford, they beat the boundary stones, marking out territory physically in another ceremony of record. And the year, and we are 1985. Are you ready? Ah, 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 ah. Beating of the bounds originated from the fact that you, you had to teach the young people where the parish boundary was. And so you actually beat them at the marks so that they would remember as they grew up. Maps and legal deeds may have robbed this tradition of its practical meaning, but the annual ritual of walking the boundary and beating the stones reminds us of what has changed and gives a younger generation a sense of perspective. Nothing changes the original boundary route. Not a 20-foot wall, nor even the building of a Marks and Spencers. Yes, there we are. Now, now, don't hit the camera, anybody. Are you ready? <laughs> it's midsummer in Derbyshire. The garland ceremony performed in Castleton each year on Oak Apple Day. The Castleton Garland ceremony is just a unique ceremony. I think once people allow it to go, uh, it will never be revived again. It's Castleton's day. Nobody does any work on Garland Day. <laughs> Just trying. Well, just trying it to see that it fits all right in the hole provided at the top of the garland to receive the points. And that is a perfect fit. Right, win past here. I feel that we lose a lot, as it is, you know, to modern life, and I think that something that's been going for a very long time needs to be carried on. 
people come together, you know. I don't often, I don't work with any of these people except on a day like this, and it's fine, you know. I think, and that's village life. We all come together at one time of the year. This this day, and a lot of us work together, you know, to, to get this off the ground. <laughs> Traditionally, the bell-shaped garland is built from wildflowers by the local men, while the queen, the posy that sits on the top, is made by the women from cultivated flowers. The king, covered by the garland, parades through Castleton with a female consort at his side. Now she's a woman, but up to 30 years ago, she was a man dressed as a woman. There is a potent sensuality in this custom, high summer in full flower calling attention to its abundance. At dusk, the queen or posy is removed and placed on the local war memorial. garland itself is lifted from the king's shoulders and hauled to the top of the church tower, where it will wither and die. There's no simple explanation for Castleton's garland ceremony. Taking place on Oak Apple Day suggests a link with the restoration of Charles II, but its roots surely lie deeper in a pre-Christian celebration of nature, the marking of the seasons, here the ripeness of summer. As autumn approaches South Queen's Ferry at Lothian in Scotland, the Burry Man makes his appearance. Now get that back onto your eye. Oh, that's got that's got on. That ain't good, is it? I should have got one at the one the museum. I want to read my shit in the museum. Aye, aye. Thank you for burst tight tonight. Once more, hold it on. See, watch more. Do some more French on, please. I'm not bad, Colin. We've had nine green days again. It's an uh, old tradition in South Queen's Ferry. It's been going on for hundreds of years. It's man who gets dressed up from head to foot in boards, and they go out in the streets in South Queen's Ferry, and everybody gives a penny because he's meant to drive away evil spirits. And uh, where that originally comes from, nobody knows. Are you going in the back here, what? Yeah, meant to be. What are you doing in the back? Ah, I wait. Is it too far back, Alan? No, it's fine. No, it feels all right, but then it looks all right. Just I need my eyes, I've got a scared one year now. Ah, right, you want back a bit? No, that's okay, like that. It's okay. Take two back. The records show that this extraordinary figure has walked his route every year for centuries. Whether this was originally another boundary walk, or whether the Burry man is older still, a green man, one time harbinger of good luck tied to the changing seasons, is uncertain. But people in South Queensferry insist that if you put a penny in his tin, you'll banish evil spirits and the heroic endurance of one individual on behalf of the whole community does suggest the traditional figure of the scapegoat. 
a day of dehydration, discomfort and exhaustion, why should anyone volunteer to be the Burryman?